Hey guys, welcome back to The Woodshed. Today I'm going to be teaching you a song called Since You've Been Gone. This is one that I wrote with Jim Henry and we just put out a little video of us playing the song and uh, my dog's in it and it's, <laughs> it's a fun little video. So um, once this helicopter goes away, I'm going to get right into it with some tab that you can download from my website. Download that and then come on back and we can go through it together, print it out. So it's a swinging little tune. Uh, we recorded it in B flat, but I'm gonna teach it to you in G just for simplicity. If you wanna play along to the video itself, um, you're gonna wanna slap a capo on that third fret and then go from there. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same. These are just with more open strings. So the reason I wanted to teach you this, uh, one of my friends actually asked for the tab to this song, but also I think it's, as I started tabbing it out, I realized there's a lot of cool little little techniques all in this eight bars plus a pickup. So I guess it's kind of nine bars, but nine bars, you get hammer-ons, pull-offs, triplets, uh, swinging eighths. You get some, some chord grips playing, playing a whole chord together. Uh, there's some syncopation. There's some sliding down, sliding up. And what's the last thing? There was something else cool. I'm staring at the, the tab over here. Um, I don't know. There's probably other things in there. <laughs> So all within these nine bars. So let's go through it together. I'll play it first so you know what it sounds like and then we'll break it down. <laughs> so then it trades off to the guitar solo at that point. So let's get into that first measure. So we're climbing up the top string and basically doing um, pull-offs from zero, from the third fret to zero, fifth fret. We're climbing up the scale basically from third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and then kind of sliding up to the eighth fret from that seventh fret. So here's what that sounds like. I'll do it again. So every time I go up a couple frets, I am attacking the note again. So I'm not doing a hammer on. You could try that if you want to, but I just like the attack there. And I'm pulling off each one of those to that open top string. And that's just a, it, a one fret slide at the end there from the seventh to the eighth fret. I like that it's one fret because you can kind of drag it out. It's a quick song, but still, I like kind of dragging it out a little bit instead of that kind of thing. So it goes with the style. So that's where you're doing your pull-offs, climbing up. Then the next measure, you're gonna do these falls back down. So this whole arrangement is basically up, down, up, down, that kind of thing. And we start out with these single string things, but it's gonna build up soon. So this second, uh, the next two measures basically. We're gonna go all the way back down just on the same string, same string, same frets basically. Um, starting on that seventh fret on the top string, seventh fret, fifth fret, and third fret. Um, when we get to the third fret though, we're gonna go down a string. So watch this, here we go. Ah, ah okay. <laughs> Let me do it from the beginning, I'm getting confused. So that's the second part. It's hard for me to do it from the seventh fret. So I'll, I'll just put that slide in before it. And you can slide as much as you want in between them, as long as you can still hear those notes. On the last note, when I do the third fret down a string, so it's on the second string, um, I'm doubling it with the top string so you can hear the open D string and then I'm doubling it. It's the same note, but, but then I slide down on the second string. So it's just kind of a cool like meow. I don't know. I think it's fun. Like that. All right. Um, the next little two measure section is what I like to call chord grip. So I'm literally gripping the chord. I'm using all three fingers and it's just a matter of what 
um, the rhythm makes it fun and kind of swingy and also the combinations of what strings I'm using. So the, I'm starting out with the second, third, and fourth string and I am basically going from the fourth fret to the fifth fret. So those are pretty sharp notes, you know, in swing music, it's not all um, long slides. So it's really fun to go from that measure before where so that's like all slide, slide, slide. And now I want to contrast that with. So what I'm doing there, I'm grab, grabbing the second, third, and fourth strings right in a row at the fourth fret. Fourth fret, going up to that fifth fret and making it a real sharp note there. Uh, I should say short. It's, hopefully it's not sharp. And then I'm moving that grip up one. So it's the first, second, and third string. And then jumping down to the sixth string, fourth string, and third string. So this might take a little bit of time and it would help to have the tab for that. Uh, so I'm going. And then sliding from the fifth fret down to the third fret using those three strings. So it's all different combinations of strings here. I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> but that's why I play the del row. All right, let's move on. Um, the triplets, after I do this one measure, we're gonna go back and see what we got so far. So the triplets are the next measure. Um, and we're going from the fourth string just zero three, basically. So fourth string, zero three, hammering on, and then an open G string. And then I'm gonna slide from the third fret, just kind of pulling it up sharp. And I'm not really going to any specific note when I pull it up, it's just like, around the fourth, fifth fret. I don't know, just feel it. Put some stank on it, basically. <laughs> and then um, repeat the same thing, but you're gonna go all the way up to the fifth fret. Uh, and then we're gonna come back down with, with pull-offs, so. Triple it. Just like that. And then, Here's, I'll add on the triplets going down. So we, we start on that. Um, after we get up to that fifth fret, we're gonna go to the third fret and then just pull off three zero on that, on that G string, on the third string, three zero on the fourth string, and then three zero on the bottom string. So here's what that sounds like. I like that, because I don't have to think about what fret I'm on. <laughs> This is third fret open, third fret open, third fret open, all the way down. Um, so what, what does this all sound like together? Let's, let's do that before we get these last two bars. I'll do it kind of slow. So remember, we're going up the top string, we're climbing up, then we're gonna fall down, do some chord grips, and then the triplets. We can do it, right? I hope I can. <laughs> Awesome. Cool. We only have two more measures to go. Let's do it. Um, so just to be complicated, I'm going to go all the way up to, I guess this is where the five chord is probably in the song. I'm going to go up to the seventh fret. I'm going to start out with some chord grips, but instead of making it the same as it was a few measures ago, I'm going to do one chord grip together and then one kind of bounced off. I don't know how to explain this, but it's the thumb and then the fingers together just to make it kind of bouncy. It's all taken from like swing music and dancing. So I think about what I do when I'm swing dancing and that's kind of how, how I play sometimes, hopefully. <laughs> sometimes I'm not a good dancer though. So <laughs> anyway, back to the, the um, last two measures. So go up to the seventh fret. We're gonna go sixth, sixth string, fourth string and third string uh, and start there. 
So after we do the I'm gonna land up on that seventh fret. And then, like I said, thumb. So it's thumb and then the fingers. Um, exactly on the same strings they were just grabbing. So So I did seventh fret and then that little bounce. So, and on that bottom seventh string, uh, seventh string, seventh fret of the sixth string. And then you go up to, just to make it complicated, I had to go up to the sixth fret of the second string. So I'm kind of bouncing from down there. And I'm kind of, again, pulling up. It's, I'm playing like the minor third. You don't have to worry about that, but either way, I'm, I'm using the open top string and the sixth fret, pulling up to the seventh fret. And then I'm gonna go down on essentially the like third and fourth strings from seven to five. So I'm kind of implying like a, a seventh chord there. So it's like the, the uh, fifth chord with the seventh in it. Oh boy, there's too many numbers in this. <laughs> okay, let me play that measure again. So, so it's the grip and then the bounce. All the way up there and then um, that seven to five. So that's on that, it's a D chord and then we're kind of, kind of implying a D seven, if that makes sense. Should we play it together one more time? Are you still with me? Have you wandered off to cat videos yet? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> All right. Um, if you like this video, definitely check out the full version of it. I made a silly little video at home. I did all the filming and I did the, the editing, what there is of it. So um, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, let me know what else you want to learn here on The Woodshed. Um, if you want to make a version of this song, I would love that. I will send you the chords and the lyrics and all that stuff, and I would love to hear you guys play it. Um, so we're going to do the whole thing all together. Are we ready? Let's do it kind of slow still. One, two, three. <laughs> take that much time once you get it under your fingers um, and in the video you'll see it just goes by like that but it was really fun to break it down for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know how it's going with your dobro see you later